Hi, and welcome to my gate. Today, we're going to be completing the quest What Lies Below. The quest requirement is Rune Mysteries, and the stat requirement is 35 Runecraft. Now, you will also need 42 mining if you want to have access to the Chaos Tunnels, or you do not want to enter the Wilderness. Items needed, an empty bowl and 15 Chaos Runes. If you're going via the Chaos Tunnels, which will take slightly longer, then you will also need a Chaos Talisman. For the recommended items, one stamina potion should be enough, and also a weapon and some potions to kill 5 monsters of combat 32 and 1 of combat 47. Also having 3 inventory slots would be nice. Now if you are going via the abyss, then getting some food, a pickaxe and maybe an abyssal bracelet might also be helpful. For the teleports, 3 to the champions guild, 1 to the grand exchange, 3 or 4 to the rock. If you're going via the abyss, then 1 teleport to Edgeville. If you're going via the chaos tunnels, then 1 to the lumberyard. And then 1 after the quest is completed. So, where to start your quest is just here south of Rock between Lumbridge and Varrock. Here at this crossroad, let's talk to Red Burgess and select option 3 and then 1. After we have spoken to him, he will give us an empty folder and let's teleport to the Grand Exchange. Just southwest of the Grand Exchange, south of Lucian's house, south of the Fairy Ring, they'll find an outlaw camp. Kill five outlaw and they will each drop a paper. Pick up their five dropped papers and then put them into your folder. Paper 1, Paper 2, Paper 3, Paper 4, and Paper 5. Let's use all of these on the folder by right clicking. Once you've done that, let's make our way back to Rat. And he will provide us with our next task. After we've spoken to Rat, let's teleport to the rock, and we'll now need to go to the castle's library. Inside, they'll find Reldo, obviously, but this time we will need to talk to the mage called Surak Magis. Select option 1. After talking to him, we will need to make our way to the Chaos Runecraft Altar. So either teleport to Edgeville and go via the Abyss, but if you do not want to go via the Abyss or via the three levels if you are going through the regular way via the Mysterious Ruins, then you will need to teleport yourself to the Lumberyard, and south of the Lumberyard they will find a statue with some benches. On that bench we will find an NPC called Anna Jones. Talk to her to get a bronze pickaxe. Use that on the statue to make a hole. Enter the hole and then run northwest to a portal. 
Be sure that you have a Chaos Talisman in your inventory and enter the portal. They will be halfway in the second level of the Chaos Tunnels. Click on the northwestern ladder in your game screen and then let your character run towards it. Go down the ladder and then run a bit west towards the altar. Once you've reached the altar, let's use our wand on the altar to infuse it. And once you've done that, let's teleport to Varak and provide this to Sarak Magis. Be sure that you also have an empty bowl in your inventory. Select option 1. Once we have spoken to him, let's teleport to the Champions Guild and let's return to Rat. Select option 1. Alright, I am the mailman. Here is a letter from Surak. After you have provided the letter, and after all this conversation is done, let's teleport to Varak one more time. And let's now enter the staff shop, the staves shop. Let's talk to Zaf and select option 4. After speaking to him, let's run back to Surak Magis to initiate the instant boss fight. So if you are scared that you're going to lose against a combat 47, be sure to bank and get some decent food, armor, weapon and potions. But he isn't really that difficult to defeat. Let's talk to Surak Magis and select option 1. By the way, if you are a weird restricted account with like 10 HP, for example, you can bring a cannon inside of this room. Also, just using recoils is definitely fine, but a cannon is much faster. Let's attack King Rold until he is 1 HP. Once he is about 1 or 2 HP, you will simply need to right click on your beacon ring and operate. Alright, I think this is low enough. Let's operate the beacon ring. And after this cutscene has ended, let's take something not related to the quest, but in the northeastern corner, we should find two bookcases. The second most northeastern bookcase, let's go towards it and take the Dagenheim book. So here, the second most northeastern book, Dagon High History. Once we have this, let's teleport to a rat. Let's select option 1 to complete our quest. And congratulations, you have completed the What Lies Below quest. You are awarded with 8000 runecrafting, 2000 defense experience, as well as the beacon ring, which is a ring that gives plus 1 in magic attack, as well as access to the chaos tunnels if you had 42 mining and went that route. Now what we're going to be doing with this book, uh, yeah, give me my defense XP, thank you. Use the Varak teleport one last time and let's go to the Varak Museum.
We will need to provide this book to the historian on the second floor next to the stairs and he will give us five kudos for it. And that was literally all this book does. Alright, this was my quick guide how to complete the What Lies Below quest. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.